Yeah. It's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, People switch up, <laughs> get yeah. a little, get a little shine, get it's a little crazy, attention. Right? They switch up. I've seen that. I've, I, I mean, if I was gonna switch up, I told Eugene this years ago. I think after like four years ago, I was like, bro, if I was gonna switch up, I would have done it fucking years ago, even before the UFC. But again, I keep the same energy. And likewise, man, you still keep the same energy, even on stage last night watching you. I was just like, it's still Emilio. But you have the same energy, the same buzz about you, you know? Yeah. Yo, you're a big comedy fan, dog. Fuck yeah. I love comedy. I honestly... Nah, Yo! The only thing is comedians right now are saying the realest shit. They're saying things that politicians should be saying. They're saying shit. I don't get into politics. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of forced to nowadays because it's being forced on me. I never watch the news, you know? I never... I was never one of those guys who's waiting for... Like during the COVID times, you know, everyone would wait. I think it was on a... I don't even know what day it was, but they'd wait at a certain point to see what, what traffic light system in New Zealand we're going to be allowed to be in. Everyone would be waiting on their phones. I, was, I didn't give a fuck. It's my ego because I always felt like the, I don't know, the rules don't apply to me. So, But now I'm forced to get into politics because of all the bullshit that these guys are talking about, all the lies. And the comedians are the ones speaking the real shit. And they're being honest and you know um, prolific with their words. And I honestly think like they're the ones who changing the culture. Yeah. We're gonna try, you know. When you say that, it inspires me to like be more brave because I noticed mm -hmm. though, like even the comedians are a little bit. Sometimes like, they don't want to get canceled. Nobody's yeah. pushing the envelope anymore, yeah. you know. So. There's few, few of them that, that are. Even last night there was a couple which I really appreciated, but then there's like the goats, Dave Chappelle. He's the one that I love. His last uh, special where I mean they tried to cancel him, but those who actually watched the special and spoiler alert, go to the end. You, you watch the yeah, way yeah, yeah, for sure about his trans friend who yeah. committed suicide. Because she, as a trans woman, defended Dave Chappelle, saying, like, he's not trans. And then she got attacked by the trans community. And then, you know, I'm just like, if you actually listen without your own emotions attached and be objective, you're able to listen to what this, honestly, genius is talking about when he's talking about the situation we're in as a race, like the human race. You know, that's it's, a bad one. Yeah, yeah it's, it is. It's scary, dog, because we're going backwards. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, don't... I thought we had some of these. I think I thought we had a lot of this stuff already figured out. And I've seen some of the things even. Yeah, I've, I've, we're on the same. I was talking to somebody the other day and I, I mentioned Jordan Peterson and they told me, oh, isn't that guy like some crazy? And I'm like, you're talking about my life coach right now. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I almost lost it. My vein in my yeah. came out. And this guy started talking, <laughs> talking shit about Jordan Peterson. I'm like, yo. Cause they mm. just they read the they read the headlines and they just like the, there you go it's what it's in this game as what do you well. Call them useful idiots. Yeah, there you go. They read the headlines and just parrot the same thing. And I'm like, no, you can't just parrot what you read. On you have to if you want to. I'm not saying go sit down three hours do your research, but at least read the article before you make an informed decision. And sometimes even the articles depends where you get it from. They could be salacious and slanderous, misleading. But someone like Jordan, Andrew, um, Dave Goggins, guys like that, they're the ones who are really I guess, to be honest, pushing men to be to be accountable as men. And, you know, like the world right now is trying to like soften us. Yo, weak you men know? is what, yeah, dog. Like, I uh, mean, what did they say? I think it was, um, what's his name? Jordan actually said, you know, the, was it Jordan? Like how you, how you, um, back in the day that, um, you know, if someone like the, the kings and whatnot want to stop an uproar or uprising. They'd kill all the fighting age males. Yeah, the 20, yeah, like the 20, yeah. the fighting age. Kill and, them. And the, Can't kill them right now, so what do you do? You fucking you, give them sugar. Exactly, push the fire. Make them feel, make them exactly. feel, make them feel bad about being make men. Make them feel emasculated. About wanting to talk to girls. Yeah. Incels, dog. They're creating straight There you go. I've incels, heard that term. Yo. What is that actually? In, what is that? What's I've like hearing a, that one too. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's like but a guy. I, I know like, what it so, means. Like, not like, like a simp, but like a... Eh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like somebody like, yeah, they're like yeah. afraid to be like who they are. Exactly. You know but now, nah, I mean, you just have to take a stand. Like, I I know who I am. I know you know who you are. And I like the fact that we have a crew of people who actually like stand. And we're all different people, like different walks of life, I'm sure. I don't want to get too much into it, but everyone in here has different beliefs, different mentality, different, even I hear politics and stuff like that, and they riz on each other for it. But it's funny, but at the end of the day, we're all brothers and we're all still a community and fighting brings us together. I feel like that's how the world should be. Fighting brings the world together, bro. Everybody needs to train. Fighting, yeah, man, especially. Honestly, like I've, I've, I've said this so many times from what I learned, one of the tools I learned in therapy like a year or two years ago was don't react, respond. And I feel like, honestly, the situation we're in as men, a lot of men, if they don't react, they save themselves a lot of a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. A lot of killings as well. So too many men get angry and they well, put the chest out and we're in Florida. So I'm whoops. Uh, apparently now you're even allowed to carry without a permit. 
Dog, so it's crazy right now. right now. Bang, bang, bang. It's crazy. Because they react. You got to respond. Take that time. Breathe. Meditate and train. Honestly, that's the shit right there. 